all during the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all the different countries around the world. I'm watching a little bit of Tony Robbins here. Uh, what's up, guys? It's uh, Medic. I haven't been on Mepic Nation in a long time, even though if you guys are seeing this video six months from now, it's going to seem like I've been on in succession. But really, it's been uh, several months since I've been here, and I have to apologize. Uh, really, it's just been super, super busy. Uh, I've been all the way from New York City, from my city in Calgary, Canada, all the way over to uh, Anaheim in California and doing a whole bunch of uh, different types of, um, well, traveling and meeting and networking and all this different stuff. And I just have not had the time to get over to my Mapic Nation uh, viewers. And at the same time, as soon as I feel say that, I feel incredibly guilty. Uh, no, this is in my studio, my dungeon. This is my man cave. This is where I do all of my editing for my other channel. And uh, PC in the background, Mac over here. A little bit of spiced rum on the side, you know, two fingers and uh, three ice cubes. Because if you do three ice cubes, at least you're getting the water in you. That's what I tell myself. Uh, I'm just teasing you. Got a little bit of allergies today, so I apologize. I'm a little stuffed up, but really, on this channel, I don't really care. It's just me guy, me hanging out with you guys, right? My friend Dale and a whole bunch of, of other folks have said to me, I miss you on this channel. And really, it's just because I have RC Sparks. And the show I do on YouTube called RC Adventures, it takes a lot of my time filming and all that neat stuff. But there's been so much going on, and I'm so excited to uh, get on camera and at least chat to you a little bit. Um, I've got some family coming in for a little while, so I won't be able to be on this channel even more, but at least right now I can be here. Um, yay, I went down to the YouTube convention for 2012 in Anaheim. In California, it was nice to go down there. Uh, also met with uh, Nitro RCX, Nitro Planes, Hobby Parts whole bunch of RC manufacturers that really, uh, if you get up and go, you can go and meet them. That's just the bottom line, right? If you take a little bit of initiative in your life and if you want to do the YouTube thing and have a great time, you got to go out and make contacts. So that's exactly what I did. I took Jem and I and we went down and we had a great time, visited a whole bunch of people, uh, met new friends uh, with what's going on in the, uh, you know, in the whole YouTube industry, the new networks that are coming out that are scooping up YouTube channels, what the partnership program is looking like and all the different types of levels, you know, the invisible levels that are available uh, and uh, really trying to hone my craft uh, in the niche that I'm in or niche depending on where you are and pronouncing it in the world. Um, you know, I work with really high-end radio control products and different manufacturers and I'm an entrepreneur really. I've been doing this YouTube thing for about three and a half years full time. Um, somebody that was laid off in 2009 from my you know, management uh, tech job. I used to manage uh, computer network infrastructure teams that went out and fixed big buildings of computers and networks for oil and gas companies and in my province of Alberta, which is kind of like the little Texas for all the, the folks in the US that are watching. And uh, tons of oil, tons of gas, all that kind of stuff here. So there was great business back in the day, but then the world economy took a hit. And here we were in 2009, I got laid off. And uh, it's really kind of neat because I got onto YouTube at that time. I got accepted into the partner program on my other channel when I had about 650 subscribers. So I was like one of the first people in the door, I think. And uh, just kind of built a small empire from there, having fun, working with some really cool products that I liked, and kind of became every cog of my business. Sales, communications, people, fan mail, all that kind of stuff, but I really wanted to do it. And uh, I think that's the secret about, you know, working a job or working at what you like. Uh, one of my, my, my like-to-be mentors somebody I would like to have mentor me, which they'll never will because they're billionaires, uh, Jim Treliving, who's a Canadian who used to be an RCMP, not a police officer, a different type, like a national uh, police officer. And uh, he, he actually ended up going off and, and, and building a small empire. Now he owns a huge portion of Boston Pizza, which is a huge chain. And uh, Mr. Lube, for example, he owns that. And 
And really one of the things he said, I posted it up on my Facebook page today, uh, was uh, if, if there's somebody that's successful at, at doing something they hate, he certainly doesn't know them. And I got to say, that's the bloody truth. If you have to go to work and do work and like go every day and talk to a boss and manage a team, something I've done for years, that's something you want to do, I say do it. Uh, if that's something you love, I say do it. I think that's the bottom line there. If you do something you love, do it. If not, find a way. I was talking to another friend today, my friend uh, Ernest. Uh, he was telling me about uh, different meetings he holds. And one of the meetings they hold is uh, with friends and people that are interested in changing their lives. Lifestyle design. How do you design a lifestyle that goes around what you want to do? Because you're the only person making that decision, right? You're the only person kind of guiding your life. You got one shot at this. Isn't that what all the rap stars say? You got one shot at this. You got to make it what you want. If you're not doing it, then take steps. Even though they might be slow steps and the road is long. Didn't another band sing that? I think it was Boys to Men. God, I just... All this gray hair I have, even in my beard, as my friend Terry pointed out. Thanks a lot, Terry. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I've been around for a little while. You know, it's a long road. You got to travel a road to get to where you want. Even for me, if I want to do anything from this point forward, I still have to travel the road. And I better well make the darn right choices to get to the point that I want to be. Where do I want to be in five years? I don't fucking know. All I know is that I want to have a good time. Who knows? I'm going to be here in five years. I want to have a good time now, provide for Jem and for my household and do everything I'm supposed to do. Plus, I want to be planning for later on, right? What am I going to do? I have no idea. But at least I'm planning and trying to get and take those steps that are positive, build up the good karma, try to build a bank account with whatever money and funds that I have, and uh, prepare for tomorrow. Live for today. Prepare. 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 Prepare for tomorrow. That, that, that shows how good of a motivational speaker I am, hey? I'm not. I'm just a regular dude, right? The reason why I, are, why I RC is... Have, a, have another drink. Spice rum. Yeah, smooth. The reason why I RC is so I can get out with friends. I'm not going to the bar anymore. I'm not going to school anymore. I'm, you know, if I had to go to work, fuck, I don't want to hang out with people I work with. So I RC instead. Radio control hobby. As long as I can go out and have fun with friends and meet new people, that's what it's all about. And I'll, I'll stop the video here. Like, I'm not supposed to be a preacher. The whole Mepic Nation channel idea was for me just to get in front of the camera and be comfortable. You know, that's kind of come and gone now if I'm drinking some booze and got allergies and shit on camera with you. It's just being human. Uh, so there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed today's Mepic Nation video, and uh, I don't know, did you gain anything from it? You can comment down below if you want, if not, don't worry about it, I, <laughs> I got so many comments on other places, I have a hard time keeping up, but I read every single one of them, uh, so, anyway, thanks for watching, I'm going to turn off the video, I thought I was turning off the video, damn it, I hate when, <clears throat> oh, dang.